What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoy making them. It was a lot of fun making it because I wasn't planning on doing these shoes at all. I was just sitting at my desk like I normally did for the past, I don't know, weeks, months. And I was like, I want to shoot something, you know, I had these like ideas in my head. So I literally just yelled at my roommate across the hall. Yo, man, do you want to make a video? Yes. That's what we did. We just came up with the ideas and just shoot it right away. You know, it's nothing planned at all. But sometimes this unplanned video is always come out the best ones. We also film a little behind the scene for you guys. It's not much, but at least it's something to show you guys how I create all those transitions. And I also play around with lightings. And you guys going to see it in the behind the scene footage. Um, the quality is not the best because I filmed it with my Canon G7X um, blocking camera that I own for the past six, seven years. The batteries in these cameras is just as bad as the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. It, it's horrible. But um, yeah, you guys are going to see it in the uh, behind the scene. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scene because uh, it was a lot of fun for us making it. It's, it's a lot of trial and errors and we're just having a good time making that video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it, it's a comedy. So <laughs> without wasting more of your time, let's get into it. What's up guys? Welcome back to another shoot today. I just want to run you guys through uh, my setup for today's shoot. It's a coffee. Um, B-roll. So we have these bad sheets right here to block some light. It doesn't help much, but at least it helps. Um, and we got this GVM RGB lights right here to put more red colors. And we have this spotlight, two of them. Use it as a background. And we got this key lights right here but we didn't turn it on yet because I kind of want this shoot to look like a silhouette so we want more um, bright light as a background and just a shadow at the front and yeah that was the whole theme for today's shoot and hopefully it turned out good just want to bring you guys to behind the scenes and show you how I set up everything before every shoot oh one more thing I also have this um, Yongyu light have two of them use it as the background light and yeah and that is over the sprite that is for all for today's shoot let's go and we are ready for the first shot for today we have my friends here Matthew to demonstrate how to make coffee it's an honor <laughs> to be here sir and yeah uh, I'm gonna put this into time lapse hopefully it's work um, yeah let's do it okay so the idea for um, the first shot is having this a uh, nice um, movements of the coffee so I have him spinning the bottle and then my camera is gonna dolly this out and push it back in when you want to do th those kind of shot you want to have these little towers to put it under the camera so it make the sliding smoother one two three go hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, at that point, we realized that the original shot that we had in mind is not going to work. We spent about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes trying to make it work, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's a good example for you guys out there if you want to make this kind of video because sometimes you have certain shot in your head that you feel like it's going to look good but it doesn't turn out the way you want it to look like and you got to improvise so for this scenario we actually come up with a new idea uh, instead of having him spinning the bottle I just have him like pour the coffee beans on the table and my camera just follow it and I'm just going zoom in to his shirt and that actually turned out better than what I had in my head and yeah okay so my other cameras died we just missed the first shot now for the second one I bring this light a little closer bring more blue light toward this plastic right here and I'm having him like pour the coffee from the top so I think that would look good with all the lights, blue lights around it. And yeah, let's do it. So actually for the second shot, 
we just came up with the idea on the spot. So on the first shots I had is, I had my camera dolly in toward his um, shirt, so it's like go to blacks, and I figured for the next shot, if I could like pull my camera out from places that like darker, so it would create a night transition. So what we did is, I had my cameras on his hand. I pre-focused my final frame, so I just had my cameras up in his uh, hand, and when I roll it, just coming down, just spin it a little bit, get this nice angle, and focus on the coffee. And it turned out really, really good. I'm satisfied. With this shot. Okay, so for these shots right here, we want to get a close-up of the coffee coming out of the grinder. And so I'm using this little aperture light closer to it so it's bring out more lights and just be able to focusing on this um, the coffee when it's come out. That part was so embarrassing because at the time we totally forgot what the coffee grounds call. So we were struggling try to figure out what these things call. We grind the coffee beans and what's came out. We we couldn't figure out what the word what these things call it. What's the coffee ground in? Um, grinded beans? That was embarrassing. Go. Okay, so for this shot, we have Chemex right here in the middle, and we have the Chemex papers. You can have Matt kind of like spin it and then drop it on there. I think it's gonna look so dope. One, two, three, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do one? It's tough. No, got this. Go, 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 go. So that shot was hilarious because we thought it's going to be an easy shot. It probably take like one or twice to get it. And for some reason, we couldn't synchronize with my cameras. And when he flipped the filter and put in the Chemex and we couldn't get it right. So we end up having about 10 to 12 takes on that one simple shot. It's tough, no? Got this. So yeah, it took us 12 takes for, for that one simple shot. What do you think Matt? <laughs> we had fun so that's good. So <laughs> the last shot we finished with the camera panning up. So the shot we tried to have a camera panning down so it would create a good transitions. And I keep looking at the monitor instead of the lens. I'm looking right into the lens, right? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Put your fingers. Water. Nice. Perfect though. Okay, higher. Yes. Okay. Ready? Go. That's it. I think we got the shot. Is that the uh... one take? <laughs> So for these portions uh, behind the scenes, I pretty much just moving around, try to get different angles of the chemix and try to get as much as B-roll as I can while the coffee is dripping. But one key point about this shot is I had the light pointing directly at the cameras and I also have the aperture light, the small one, to bring more light to the chemix and I just shoot it directly toward the orange light so that's how I get the snipe bouquet of the coffee steam or hot water steam. So that's how you get those shots. <laughs> okay, so this is the last shot of today. Second to last. Second to last shot, but is this the last trick shot for today? So what we're going to do is we go to have him spinning the chemics 
all this in one shot and then I'm gonna pull my camera out and he going to pour it inside the cup all that in one shot and we're going to speed run it in the post yeah let's do it go Thank you guys so much for staying until the end. I know this one kind of long one, but I hope you got learned something from it and maybe a few laughs here and there because we had a lot of fun making it. If you love what you do, you're going to find joys in the process of making them and I think that is the most important part. And if you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and share it with your friends and with anyone that love filmmaking or want to learn to do this kind of video and comment below if you guys have any questions about this video or about camera filmmaking equipment everything in general maybe comment about what you guys want me to shoot next or what you want to see next from me I think that's the most important thing right and yeah just leave a comment below I would love to answer all of them that is all for today guys and I'll see you in the next video bye Oh my, that was horrible. <laughs>